Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 202503, including Maven and general improvements. Improvements that have been added since the last release in December 2024, three months ago. Eclipse welcomes you with a fresh light theme, with trees on a light grey instead of a white background, but brighter overall. Hope you like it. Support for the upcoming Java 24, which will be released one week after this Eclipse release, is not yet built in. But the preview can be installed via the Eclipse Marketplace. By the way, GitHub Copilot is now finally also officially available. In the Java editor, there is a new quick fix for a switch of a sealed type, not yet containing any cases. Hit Ctrl-1 and choose Add Permitted Type Cases, which also adds Null and Default to make the switch expression exhaustive. There is a new experimental preference for the Java editor. Extended folding for Java files in your workspace. It's disabled by default, as it can lead to performance degradation in rare extreme cases. When activated, you can not only collapse and expand methods, but also for and while loops, as well as if, else, try and catch branches. When debugging, in the variables view, you can now compare two or more variables of the same type. Select the variables to compare, right-click and choose Compare. A dialog tells you whether the two selected lists are equal or how they differ. When comparing more than two lists, you will get a comparison table in the editor area. Also, when comparing two or more non-collection types, you will get a comparison table. Exceptions are now displayed with their stack traces. The ability to compare variables and exceptions with stack traces are two new helpful features of the variables view, aren't they? In addition, you can now specify your own custom detail formatter for primitives and arrays of primitives. In the Preferences, Java, Debugging, Detail Formatters, click Add, Select Primitives. Choose the primitive or an array of a primitive, click OK, add the code how to display it, click OK, and apply and close. Voila! Your custom detail formatter is now used in the detail pane of the variables view for the selected variable. The Java tooling and the Java compiler have been optimized for better performance. In certain cases, project, clean, is now more than twice as fast as in the previous version. That's nice, isn't it? For Maven, in the Preferences, Maven, Installations, you can now refer to a Maven installation using variables. For example, you can use an environment variable that is set in your system to refer to a Maven installation. The Maven POM editor now provides code completion for the BND Maven plugin and the Felix Bundle plugin, as you can see here. There is a new preferences for folding in the Maven POM editor and other language server-based generic editors, such as the editors for JavaScript, 
for CSS and for many more. In the preferences, language servers, folding, you can choose which elements should be initially folded when opening an editor. For example, license header comments. When now reopening, the license header comment is now collapsed. License headers are comments containing something like an SPDX license identifier. That's a nice trick to distinguish them from regular comments, isn't it? Besides these Java-specific improvements, there are general platform improvements in addition to the new fresh light theme. On Windows, the monitor-specific UI scaling has been enhanced, which is disabled by default and can be enabled in Window, Preferences, General, Appearance. When enabled, each window is displayed using the best resolution of the monitor that it is displayed on, rather than using the same resolution for all windows, which may be lower. On all platforms, the initial minimum and the maximum Java heap size is no longer set for the Java used to run Eclipse. Nowadays, the Java VM sets by default a large enough heap and the G1 garbage collector allocates dynamically only the memory that is needed and frees it when it is no longer needed. If necessary, which should be less likely, you can change this in the Eclipse INI file. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release March 2025. Thanks for watching and happy coding!